we need to find the range of this function x square plus 6x plus 4 by x square plus 6x plus 11. Right? We have two quadratics here, it is going to be incredibly tough. I can find the range of this, I can find the range of this, but I can't combine this and find out. Right? So my first idea is I want to simplify this expression. What I see here, there is an x square plus 6x here, x square plus 6x here. So I can replicate this expression here and simplify it somewhat. Right? Let me think about how to do it. I want to write this as x square plus 6x plus 11 by x square plus 6x plus 11. Remember, I am taking the denominator, put in the numerator. But I have only a plus 4 here, I have a plus 11 here, so I have to subtract 7. So this is nothing but 1 minus 7 by x square plus 6x plus 11. Right. Now, instead of dealing with two quadratics, I have simplified it to one quadratic. So now all I need to do is find the range of 7 by x square plus 6x plus 11. If I find that, I am through. Fine. I can always accommodate this 1 minus later on. Okay. So for that, I need to find x square plus 6x plus 11, that range, and then find 7 by x square plus 6x plus 11, then find out 1 minus 7 by x square plus 6x plus 11. So I am going to simplify this question. I am going to say, forget about this. I am going to find range of x square plus 6x plus 11. Suppose this is f of x, I am going to call this as, this function as some p of x. Let me find this, let me find x square plus 6x plus 11, range of this number and then we will think about everything else. Now think about this, if I have a square and then I know any square ranges from 0 to infinity. So if I have x square, x square goes from 0 to infinity. If I have x square plus 5, that goes from 5 to infinity, I know. I know that x minus 1, the whole square plus 5 also goes from 5 to infinity. So if you can isolate a square, that simplifies my question somewhat. Right? Now to take a different idea from here, I know as part of the theory, I know that x plus a whole square is equal to x square plus 2ax plus a square. I know that if I square this, I will get this. So I am thinking about what should I square to get x square plus 6x plus 11. Straight away I can sense that this is not a perfect square, I'm not going to get that. So let me try to extract a perfect square from this. x square plus 6x plus what will be a perfect square? That is my next question. I know that x square plus 2ax plus a square is a perfect square. So this 2ax should be 6x or 2a should be 6 or a is 3. So I know that x square plus 6x plus 3 square is a perfect square. I am going to write this as x square plus 6x plus 9, that is 3 square plus 2. So this plus 2 is to make sure that I add up to 11 again. This is nothing but x plus 3 the whole square plus 2. This I know straight away ranges from 2 to infinity. Right? Now I have started with this expression and then I will come to the 7 by this and then we will go to 1 minus 7 by this. Right? We will do that finally. x square plus 6x plus 11 goes from 2 to infinity. Now 1 by x square plus 6x plus 11 which is the denominator. As the denominator if this is a denominator, larger the denominator is, smaller the number will be. Smaller the denominator is, larger the number will be, as long as they are dealing only in positive numbers. So, luckily for us, x square plus 6x plus 11 is completely positive. It goes from 2 to infinity. Thankfully, it got away light easy there. So, this goes from 2 to infinity. So, 1 by this will go from 0 to 1 by 2. 1 by infinity is 0. 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. So, this expression goes from 2 to infinity. I am going to take a slight leap here. I am going to say 7 by x plus 3 whole square plus 2. This will go, remember 1 by infinity is practically 0. So 7 times that, the lower bound is 0. Remember 0 is not included because this can never go to 0. The higher bound 7 by 2, 7 by 2 included. And this is the range of this function. Let me call it q of x, which is 7 by x plus 3 whole square plus 2. I have still not come to f of x. f of x is 1 minus this. Fine. So my f of x, if I have to simplify, it is 1 minus a function that ranges from 0 to 7 by 2. I am subtracting this range from 1. So the smallest possible value will be 1 minus 
the largest possible value here because I am subtracting from 1. So, smallest possible value will be 1 minus 7 by 2 which is minus 5 by 2. The largest possible value is when I am subtracting minimum from it. The minimum that I can subtract from it is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Now, remember this can be minus 5 by 2. This cannot be 1. So, this goes from minus 5 by 2 to 1 including minus 5 by 2 not including 1. Fine. The last step I am going to go over this again doing range of f of x which is 1 minus a function that has this range. I am subtracting from 1. So, the more I subtract the smaller my number will be. The less I subtract the higher my number will be. So, the lower bound for this function will be when I subtract the maximum. The upper bound for this function will be when I subtract the minimum. So, I subtract 7 by 2 I will get minus 5 by 2. I subtract 0 I will get 1. So, this goes from minus 5 by 2 to 1 which is the range of this function. The final answer here will be from minus 5 by 2 to 1. I am going to go over this again because it is a very good question, it is a very tough question. I have two quadratics, I do not want to deal with two quadratics. So, I deal, make sure that I am dealing with only one quadratic. So, it becomes 1 minus 7 by x square plus 6x plus 11. Now, I have a quadratic in the denominator that is going to drive everything. So, I forget about this whole function, I deal with only the quadratic in the denominator. Here, I isolate the perfect square and then simplify this. This method is called as completion of squares. So, I isolate this perfect square and then I deal with this. So, this denominator alone goes from 2 to infinity. I have a 7 by this quadratic, 7 by denominator that will go from 0 to 7 by 2. It can never take the, 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 the quadratic can never go to infinity. So, 7 by that quadratic can never go to 0. So, excluding 0, including 7 by 2. Final step, I am dealing with 1 minus this. So, I am dealing with a function whose range finally this, the range should be 1 minus a function that goes from 0 to 7 by 2. Smaller this is, higher the value will be. Higher this is, smaller the value will be. So, the lower bound is minus 5 by 2, higher bound is 1. Wonderful question, probably one of the tougher questions.